What is up, guys? Pinky49 here. We are back on the Desolation map. And big news for me, at least. You know, this is big news for you a couple days ago, but for me, to you, 34 has dropped. And, guys, I don't even want to talk about it, okay? I know everyone's expecting me to make a comment on it, but I don't even want to talk about it. Oh, my goodness. It's not about what they included. It's about what they didn't include, okay, guys? And I was thinking about this. 4J Studios is like has no grasp of their own game. No conception of the problems going on with their own game. They're so far out of touch. They're fixing things that don't matter while there are massive problems that make this game nearly unplayable. If 4J Studios was a battlefield doctor, They'd be healing the guy with the boo-boo on his thumb while some other guy is bleeding out to death right next to him, okay? They have no idea what's wrong with I don't think they even play their own game, guys. I'm not really sure they even play their own game. PvP is broken. It's not possible, okay? Survival mode is not working because mobs don't attack you anymore. You know, you punch them once and they just ignore you. We're getting all sorts of lag and frame rate drops and oh my goodness. One thing I noticed, uh, because of Dan Lags, he noticed this, is when you sprint, you can no longer look in third person. Uh-oh, that's going to change PvP. I'm not sure how I feel about that, uh, per se. On one hand, you know, you really shouldn't be able to look behind you without actually turning behind you. But on the other hand, it's been like this since the beginning of time, so all of a sudden we're all going to have to get used to this. Oh man, what does it matter? We don't play PvP anyway, because we can't. Actually, I haven't tested it since the update, but there was nothing in the change log about it. Alright, let's get to building. Enough of that nonsense. Alright, the Century Movie Theater finally did some off-camera work for you guys, okay? It's looking a little bit better, but it still needs some work. So that's what I want to work on today. Is I want to get some of this exterior stuff done for you guys. So that, uh, you know, we can get closer to calling this movie theater finished. I know it's been a long grind, but I want to thank you guys for sticking with me. You know, Gaia has caused me to not have as much time as I would like to work on this movie theater. And uh, let's make sure that looks good. Yeah, I just want to have a consistent trim. You know, I got the I got the iron blocks here, so I want to have some trim on this elevator with the iron blocks. I think that'll look good. Yeah, and uh, so basically, yeah, I'd, uh, I want to get this thing finished. You know, just like the tree. The tree in Gaia is, is almost there, almost done. So I can't wait to finish that. And I can't wait to finish this movie theater. Um, another reason why I haven't been motivated. Don't tell anybody this, guys. But since we can't play PvP, since it's PvP is out of the question, what point is there of making anything on Desolation? This whole game is meant to be a, an arena for PvP and there's no PvP and we've now gone two updates with 4J ignoring the problem. Two updates. It was created in TU32. TU33 had a bug fix, nothing. TU34 had a bug fix, nothing. So they just, they're just out of touch, out of whack. I mean, they don't know what's going on in their own game. And I mean, I'm sure the problem is, is that this small little company of people who don't have much experience, you know, they've made like four games, they're all ports uh, before getting Minecraft. They have, they're low staffed, they're not very experienced, and they're, they have too much on their plate. They have to do with the Sony console, the Xbox consoles, the, the Pocket Edition. And I, to my knowledge, they really haven't hired enough people to, to even make it feasible. So, you know, I, we can sit here and criticize all day, but I, I guess that's the, I don't know the real reason of why they don't play their own game. I'm not really sure. I wish I could have an answer for you. I don't know. And it, it, what's worse is that is the community. Oh, this community just makes me so upset. They are so... Here's the problem, guys. I, I promised myself I wouldn't talk about this today, but I feel like I need to. Here's the problem with this Minecraft console community. It's mostly small children. Alright? So that's the first problem. And these small children... They have ADD, you know, not a, they're not like diagnosed ADD, but they have very short attention spans, so they can't play Minecraft for very long. They gotta go play Call of Duty, whatever they gotta go play. So they're basically fair weather Minecraft fans, and they always come back when there's an update, they play for a little while, then they forget about the game, and they come back when there's the next update, okay? You guys know the type. It's the, this, the majority of this community, right? 
And they're the ones who are the most vocal about updates. We want free stuff. We want free stuff. Give us the update or else we're not going to play the game, right? And so 4J listens to them because they feel like this is the community. This is the community wanting new updated stuff constantly. But then there's people like me. People who play this game religiously every single day of my life. I play it every day, update or no. And my friends and I have found problem after problem after problem that is just ignored because it doesn't have to do with something new. It doesn't have to do with an, a new thing that they can offer people to entice them to play. So what I feel like in my heart is that 4J doesn't really care about the real hardcore fans. They care about the fans who will potentially pay $5 for a skin pack or whatever. Or, you know, the people who are clamoring for updates. They don't really care about the real people who play this every single day. And that's what I feel like. And that's the vibe I'm getting from 4J Studios. Okay? Now, they care about what Big B Stats has to say, but that's only because he's going to advertise their free updates, right? Or, and their paid updates as well. So, of course, they're going to listen to people like that, but... You know, I don't have enough subscribers for them to really listen to what I have to say, which is kind of sad since, you know, I'm actually building something that's incredible. I mean, not to, you know, I, every time I say that, I feel so narcissistic saying it, but it's undeniable. It's undeniable that what we're building here on the Desolation map is probably in my mind, you know, it's not there yet. But in my mind, it will be the largest project ever on consoles. You know, we're not there yet. We got a long way to go. But when it's finished, when this whole map is completed, it's going to be the biggest thing on consoles ever because of the interiors we're doing. We got so many interiors going, guys. Every single building has interiors. And not just any interior. We didn't throw it together. Guys, this Century Movie Theater has taken months to build one movie theater. And it's because the interiors are completely detailed like it's real life. We got bathrooms with movie posters. We got arcades. I know it's dark, but this is the real sense of it. We got arcades. We have three different theaters. We got a concession stand here. We got a concession stand upstairs. Uh, we got posters on the wall. We got a restaurant. You know, a lot of people just throw their stuff together and say, "Oh, I did an interior," but no, we're going the extra mile. So when I get ignored by 4J Studios, when I bring them. A, a person who's bleeding from the artery and I show it to them I wave it in front of their face look this guy's bleeding to death and they turn their back on me and check out what the guy with the broken fingers up to it makes me feel really like small and ignored and just like this company doesn't care if it doesn't make them a profit or if it doesn't you know uh, give the illusion that their game is getting better and better then they don't care they don't want to fix what's broken and I promise I wouldn't talk about this. I didn't want to get all worked up again today, but I've been worked up all day. Just, oh, this update is so frustrating. And the community is so frustrating. They accept it. They're like, oh, thank you, 4J. Thank you for adding new stuff. But these are the people who don't play every day who are just going to play it for a few days and then wait for the next update. They don't know what's wrong with Minecraft. They haven't tried to play PvP like we have. Guys, 4J Studios, when you die playing PvP, you will freeze can't move you have to exit out the game and when you come back your ghost is still there it makes pvp not a thing anymore okay but they don't care what do they care and they don't care and it's very very frustrating so i'll i'm gonna do something guys i'm gonna do something and it, you know call it drastic but i have to do something it's in my nature i can't sit by like this so I will be doing something, okay, in the future, and um, it's going to be funny, right? But it's also going to be very truthful. There's a lot of truth in jest. Okay, so that's a little bit of the exterior there. Um, hmm. I don't want to go overboard, but I think we should put it like a thing here. So maybe chiseled sandstone. It'll be a small difference, but it's the small things that go the extra mile. Actually, that doesn't really look... Too different. Can anyone even tell? <laughs> Can you guys tell if I do this? Thank you guys for the Q&A questions. Keep sending them in. We're getting closer and closer to episode 350. And for 350, in case you don't know, I want to do a Q&A. Actually, let's uh, continue with this theme. I don't know. Sometimes, you know, I, I keep building and building and adding and adding. And it, sometimes it gets too busy. Does that mean, is that a thing in your mind? It's too busy? 
so it might be getting too busy here this exterior so I may have to stop soon stop with this nonsense okay because I can just keep adding and adding details and sometimes too many details hurts your build it definitely is true trust me on that so I don't want to go overboard okay I forgot to put this here there needs to be a line there oh no nope, not there not there huh so what do you guys think of the updates uh, I don't know. Are you one of those people who just plays? You guys, my community, you're not the kind of people who plays for a few days. You got you guys are the community who plays every single day. I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly certain of it. So hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from. I'm not trying to like criticize 4J even though that's exactly what I'm doing. That's not my intention. My intention here is to wake them up. Wake up 4J Studios. You're not listening to your community which is what Minecraft is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about listening to the community and you know making a game that they want to play every day. Not not luring them in with some stupid update that's all flash that's not is not something that lasts for a while. It's it's Something that, you know, they keep adding these things like skin packs or texture packs. Well, texture packs they don't add very often, but skin packs, they keep adding it thinking, oh, it's adding to their game. No, what happens when there's a new skin pack is people look at it for 10 minutes and then that's it. They're, they keep adding things that provide entertainment for 10 minutes. When this is a game that's meant to be played over the course of four years, what's it been out now? Five years? Four years? Crazy. Crazy. So that's why I get mad when these things that are stopping us from having fun in this game are being ignored. Just just completely ignored. Especially the PvP glitch. Come on, when you die from another player, you freeze in place, you can't move. How has that been ignored for two updates? If you have Twitter, you guys gotta help me. They've ignored this for two updates. Something is wrong with this company. And... I'm just getting upset. I gotta get stop getting worked up, guys. I mean, I'm very passionate about this. Very passionate. Like I said, I play this game every day. Uh, it's my way of expressing myself artistically, okay? And they're stifling my creativity, basically, from lazy coding. Lazy coding. It's like they don't even play their own game. They don't even check. They just throw out any old update. As long as, you know, there's an update out, they're happy. Look, guys, we, we did some work. Are you, are you happy for us? Are you happy for that? For that, uh, the work we did for you guys? Never mind that the work has more bugs than the things it's adding, you know? It's like they take a step backwards with every update, and it's starting to really get on my nerves. And, um, you know, hopefully, after I'm done recording this video, I'll feel better. I use this video, I use this medium as a way to release my anger. <laughs> it's not really anger, it's disappointment. It's disappointment, it's not anger. So I use this, you know, my videos as a way to express my emotions sometimes and, you know, if you guys are sick of hearing it, I totally understand, but like I said, I'm very passionate about this and I have to, I have to let it out. I just have to. So this is very cathartic, look up the word if you don't know what cathartic means, it's a very cathartic thing for me to, to get my, my frustrations out. So thank you guys for listening, okay? Thank you for being patient with this movie theater. I know it's taken a long time. I realize that, guys. And uh, thank you for being patient with me on Gaia. I know that's taken an equally long time. Uh, I'm sorry for that, but you know, I'm just trying to make Gaia as amazing as I possibly can. That's what I'm trying to do with Gaia. And so, yes, it's taken a while, but uh, I really appreciate you guys sticking with me and you know all the likes and all the comments that you guys leave I mean I I can't say how much I appreciate that because I can't even quantify it you guys are the only reason I keep doing this you know I don't have a lot of subs uh, I don't make any money from this but I want to make a new video every day because you guys are the best and I'm doing this for you and I wish 4J Studios had the same mentality but um, I don't know they don't they just don't so it's kind of upsetting. Anyway, I think we're going to call this a video. I have to work on this side area here. I want to bring out this movie theater a little bit. And uh, mm, this is sticking out. Okay, I'm going to have to change what I just did. So I'll do that off camera. I got to cover all this up. Oh, man, I still haven't done the secret area stuff. I've been saving that to, uh, to do it on a stream, but I've just been really busy, so I haven't gotten around to it. So, I think that's going to be an episode today. Sorry I ranted a little bit, guys, but I had to get it off my chest, and I'm right. 
I'm absolutely right. You know, there's there's a, a game-breaking glitch that's just been ignored for two updates, yet they've made the positioning of, of grass perfect. Whatever that means, if you saw the patch notes, you, you know what I'm talking about. They, they fixed the positioning of grass. So, I mean, what the heck is going on in the world today? Someone get behind me, please. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this, as always. Uh... Okay, I guess you can still click when you're walking. That's a, that's good at least. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy Minecrafting. Peace.